Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 20th of 2023. Well, it is titled the dark seahorse in Cepheus. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a dark nebula known by a number of names, including the Seahorse Nebula and Barnard 150. It is a very dark nebula and you may recognize the vague shape of a seahorse here in space. Now a dark nebula is a dark dusty region and while we don't see any stars there it does not mean there are not stars in that direction. It simply means that the concentration of dust is so much that you cannot see through it to see the stars beyond. So there are just as many stars beyond those dark areas as there are in the lighter areas where you see little dust. However, the amount of dust in between is just so much that you're unable to see through it. Now that doesn't mean that it's very dense. It's still very low density and just particles scattered around. But still, you cannot see through it much as you cannot see the clearing through when you're deep in a forest. No matter where you look through that forest, your line of sight will meet, reach a tree and not until you get towards the edge of the forest do lines of sight start making it out and letting you see the outside that area. Here is the same kind of thing when you look to those dusty regions, you see a dust particle no matter where you look through it. There are that many dust particles spread over perhaps light years worth of material. Now what is going on in a place like this? Well, stars are in the process of forming. So within this dark nebula, we are forming new stars and those form through gravitational collapse. The densest areas here will begin to collapse under gravity and they will begin to rotate faster and faster and they will collect more and more material as it accretes down to the central what we would call right now a protostar just the beginnings of a star and likely also forming planetary systems around it so right now we are seeing here what our solar system might have looked like five or so billion years ago when the sun just began to start forming. It was just part of a dark dust cloud such as this where material started to condense down and eventually formed the sun and the planets and other objects in our solar system that we see today. So here we're getting a picture of that very early stage of star formation, the very beginnings of that, which we cannot see in visible light because it's blocked out to us. However, if you looked at a region like this in infrared, you would be able to see the beginnings of stars just starting to form. So that was our picture of the day for April 20th of 2023. It was titled The Dark Seahorse in Cepheus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.